Reading from Job 9, he is the maker of the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed, miracles that cannot be counted. You know, when we look at uh, the bear, Ursa Major, do we really see a bear and her cubs in the night sky? Uh, when I look at uh, Orion, the three stars, right, Orion's belt, do I see an archer, a hunter? Of course not. So, so where did the ancients come up with these pictures, these names in the sky above them? Remember, in ancient cultures, you'd be sleeping uh, on high places, on rooftops. Uh, you'd stay cool in the, uh, in the summer by sleeping on a rooftop. It'd also give you a little bit more protection. So everybody would be very aware of the night sky. That would just be part of your upbringing, would be to talk about the constellations, to talk about the signs, to talk about the pictures that are in the sky. But again, three stars... Orion's belt, would that really declare this great hunter? No, I don't think so. Throughout scripture, we, we hear that God named the stars and the constellations. He called them out as signs for the world. It's a really profound study when you really get down to it. What is the initial concept of what we call today the Zodiac or what the Hebrew people called the Maseroth? What are these stories in the sky? Obviously now we've gotten into astrology and we've gotten into all sorts of star worship and all sorts of the stars telling us things about our life and things that we should do. But going back to the original intent of these signs in the stars, these signs in the sky, what was it? I think it's a profound study. Go back to the original Maseroth and see what it shows us. Twelve major constellations starting with Virgo, the Virgin, and ending with Leo, the Lion. Again, if you do this profound 12-part study, starting with the Virgin and ending with the Lion of Judah, you tell me what the everlasting gospel, the everlasting story is that is in the night sky that has been there since the beginning of time. It's a profound study. Check it out.